All right, Steely Flyweight install for a 23 KTM 300 XC or a 24, but for an XC bike or an SX bike. What we have here is we have a, a nine ounce flywheel. They come in seven, nine, and 11. I tested out my buddy, my buddy's bike that had this on and uh, I liked the way it felt. So these are the tools we're gonna need for the job. Uh, you got your common tools that hopefully you have. You got a uh, low value torque wrench or low number torque wrench, eight mil, a uh, larger torque wrench. The specialty tool you need is a flywheel puller and you need the instructions from Steely. If you choose to read them, that's up to you. Okay, first up, remove all these eight mils. I'll start out loosening them all off. And you're gonna also need to remove your shifter. Make a note of where the alignment on this is. So when you put the it back on, it lines up nicely. Next, you're gonna pull your ignition cover off. Um, you can reuse this gasket if you're careful. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook it up out of the way. I'm gonna leave the uh, stator uh, power cables uh, connected and I'll just attach this out of the way to the side with a zip tie. There we go, I've attached that with a zip tie out of the way. Uh, another thing to note, I've also put in a Ricky stator, rewound stator that produces 70 uh, watts opposed to the stock one that produces, I think, 30. So if you don't have a, an impact gun to get the uh, retaining nut off here, um, a trick you can do is you can put a socket here, an eight mil, that will bind this up. And when you remove this, uh, it won't spin. So I've got the, uh, the eight mil in here to stop it from rotating. Here's a 17 uh, deep socket just so I can reach. Pop that on and crank it off. Remove the washer. Next up, you're gonna take your specialty tool. In this case, it's a Tusk flywheel puller. And you're gonna thread it completely on. Then you throw a wrench on there, another here, and start cranking it off. It should just pop right off. I've already done it to show. So what happens is it just slides off like so. Next, time to install the actual weight. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna place this over top and line up your holes. Then with a little bit of red Loctite on all three, we're gonna tighten this down. Uh, first hand tight and then to 14 foot pounds. Okay, now that I've torqued it down to 18 newton meters, 14 foot pounds, it looks a little something like this. Time to pop it back on the bike. Okay, sliding it back on, make sure you uh, find a locating hole there, pretty obvious. Now time to pop the nut back on. And we're gonna torque this one down to that tight. No, just kidding. We're going to torque that down to 60 newton meters. When you put your gasket back on, there's some locating pins right here and up here. Just make sure you get those lined up. And the torque spec, I believe, is 10 on these, if you care. Oh, yeah. I've cleaned off the threads uh, to the shifter with the wire brush, and then I'll apply a liberal amount of blue Loctite. Whoa, oh, that was a lot. All right, taking care to remember uh, the position I had the shifter in. I'll pop the uh, final bolt in. And that's all there is to it. The install's pretty easy, unlike a lot of... Um, Flywheel weights, there's no epoxy or gluing anything. Just those uh, 
three bolts and that's it. Off to test this sucker out. First off, I think the bike is great out of the box. It lugs really well, has a ton of power, even manageable. Second, I've always thought of myself as a horrible tester. Someone who doesn't really notice much difference in setting changes. But all that being said, this makes the bike better for the type of riding I'm doing. If you ride higher speed and aren't lugging much, this flywheel isn't going to help you much. But that being said, I haven't really found it detrimental to high speed riding that I've done. So for me, someone who enjoys technical trails, it's a noticeable improvement. It still has all the power, but delivers it smoother, especially off the bottom end. Kind of making a TBI XC a bit more like an XCW, which has a heavier flywheel, but the XC has more horsepower. So maybe making it the best of both worlds between an XC and an XCW. Now I find I'm not only able to run a gear higher in a lot of situations, but it makes those gears a little more usable. As in, I don't feel like I have to shift or clutch it as much, which is great. And as you can see here, putting along, this wasn't possible um, without it. Also, these mountain bikers, they don't like to wave. Speaking of clutching it less, I've noticed the bike is definitely running cooler because of that. Way less fan on time. I'd say the only downside of this mod would be if you really want that quick light up the tire snap, from like close to a half throttle. This changes that a bit. You have to twist a little more, so it's a bit mellower. And some people might not like that. It's definitely not like an MX guy kind of mod. They do have seven, nine, and 11 ounce weights, depending on your style. For me, this nine worked great. I'd say it's a great mod and I'm gonna keep it on. It's definitely money well spent.